around uh, 10 years ago uh, when I finished at the Central St. Martins, uh, was already starting actually from directly from the graduation show, started selling pieces. So it was already kind of running by some Japanese people who read the. Uh, I did a lot of press when I was graduating and that kind of uh, suddenly involved some people buying and so it kind of started by itself but it's kind of now nearly around 10 years ago. Uh, I kind of just finished and then suddenly there was someone standing up in my flat in London and was like okay how much is this and I was like uh, this one costs and they was like okay what should a jacket cost? Uh, Maybe in a shop it would cost like this, so that's the price I said. And afterwards, like fuck. So that kind of, uh, and then I just made it, ended up making it, and didn't earn any money on it. But that's kind of how it started. When I finished uh, the Saint Martin's, uh, uh, at the same time I got a like um, uh, a, what kind of start up working grant from the Royal uh, Art uh, Foundation. They gave me a two-year startup uh, grant, like similar to being on the dole. Uh, so, like, so you had a small income that could do 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 do. So you had two years where you could be a little bit okay. You have food, you could pay your house rent, and drink a beer every second week. You know. In some perspective. Um, in the historic part of my brain, uh, of course, uh, I'm grown up with a certain kind of style. Uh, like just without knowing, we've been in, like we have some kind of style direction. Things we learned uh, through, uh, like just by living here in the background. But on the other side, I'm educated in another country, and the stuff I'm doing is I sometimes I don't really see myself as a Danish uh, designer who would sometimes be a much more simple, much more uh, clean colors, gray, black, and maybe a beige. And some, some of my stuff sometimes is a little bit too rowdy and too colorful, and it's not particularly Scandinavian. This is the studio, the, the house of uh, Henrik Bibsko. Uh, we are at the second floor here now, which is where we more like paperwork, uh, economic, uh, sales things, samples, um, all kind of a little bit more silent stuff. Uh, downstairs is the workshops. There's one like more a wooden, uh, wood, metal, painting, dusty uh, area. And then on the other side, there's like more uh, a sewing, like a sewing studio where we work with much more finer, not dusty. Um, it's a small company, you could say. Uh, there's some people who's in charge of uh, production, then there's like a little small creative team, uh, there's a sales team. Uh, uh, normally we have around four interns from all over the world per half year. You shouldn't ask me, but I kind of feel that people are having a good time. We're doing a lot of crazy, uh, creative, uh, fun, uh, messy, chaotic projects, you know, so it's always a good uh, it's always uh, something happens. So. If I was a young, uh, just freshly uh, out of uh, university, academies, whatever, I think I would, I would start out easy doing a little bit of creative stuff that maybe didn't work so costly. Fashion-wise, I would do a few styles, maybe just five or ten really good ones, but then make them strong. But just work with a little bit like simple and not spend the whole fortune in the first go. My body is stainless. My brain is... I don't know.